Hello, welcome to Rarm Studios. Today I am going to go in depth on Roland's TD-17 and TD-17-L drum modules. I happen to own the base TD-17 and have played it extensively for the past few weeks and here's my take on the module and a deep guide to it. Now, let's go to the specs. It has 12 trigger inputs. Include right bell and hi-hat control, 10 on the cable snake and 2 external ones. Also to be noted, when purchasing the TD-17 KVX model like me, the second crash takes one of those inputs up, just wanted to clear that confusion. It has 310 sounds and 50 preset kits, with 50 user kits also. As well as USB MIDI and MIDI out it has an O input and the standard stereo outputs and the weight for a 3.5mm headphone jack would you believe it? Each drum has the capability to layer different sounds within the module. Like a snare sound that is maple, which is layered with an aluminium model as well. You can adjust the level of the subsound to your liking and also choose whether it is mixed or faded. Toms also have snare buzz adjustments, and the snare has a strainer slider. As well as layering, the sounds can be muffled with the onboard muffling feature. Choose between tapes, blankets, donuts and many others for every instrument. There is individual 3-band path equalizer and master bass and treble knobs, which can be adjusted also. Built-in reverb can be adjusted with the ambience knob and furtherly adjusted within the other section of the module. Choose between rooms, areas, mic placement and levels for a nice reverb sound, which can be done very simply. Tuning is also a feature but no compression, which is disappointing. Also, the module contains multi-effects, including various delay and chorus which is interesting for the price point. It has the import sample feature through SD card, which is very helpful. The feature I have left until last is my favorite part of the module, the Bluetooth feature. But the TD17-L doesn't have this so. I mean unless you buy it with the kit then it's worth the extra $20 or like £10. It basically means the mix and port is void unless you use it for other purposes as you can fully use the audio from your device with the TD17. It's such a helpful feature to have inside of the brain as it's so ease of access. Finally, let's speak about these sounds. They are a large distance away from the TD11, so there is a large improvement there, but compared to the Strike and the TD25 it's just a bit further away from being up there with them. However, the module overall is better than the TD25 which has just 18 kits and the standout feature is the snare's positional sensing which is not worth an extra 4 or 500 dollars or 300 pounds. These sounds are good, I have developed some nice kits which I will show you right now. Overall, the module is a fantastic one for the new age of eDrum modules. It is the best module in its price range of 500-700 pounds and is definitely worth the buy. It is suited for plug-and-play players, but can also be designed for live MIDI playing through Drummer or Superior Drummer 3. It's an outstanding module for its price and is really editable and unique for this new rise of eDrum sound modules.